corn processors at this groundbreaking celebration of your innovative biorefinery expansion. The new addition, with its ability to convert corn fiber into cellulosic ethanol, truly is an example of American ingenuity at its finest. It is especially important to note that you not only are expanding ethanol production, the cellulosic ethanol that you produce will qualify as an advanced biofuel under the National Renewable Fuel Standards, or RFS. When Congress enacted the RFS in 2007, it included aggressive goals for the production and use of cellulosic ethanol and other advanced biofuels. Then came the financial meltdown in 2008 and the ensuing recession, which severely limited investments in advanced biofuels. However, I remain confident that advanced biofuels would be commercialized, and once again, we're seeing Iowa in a leadership role in that endeavor, with projects like yours and the plants in Emmitsburg and Nevada. This project also demonstrates public and private collaboration at its finest. I'm very pleased that the Quad County Corn Processors successfully applied for a grant with the Joint Department of Energy and Department of Agricultural Biomass Research and Development Initiative. As Chairman of the Senate Committee on Agriculture, Nutrition, and Forestry, I was very pleased to include this program in both the 2002 and 2008 Farm Bills. Your success utilizing that program demonstrates once again that targeted federal programs can support innovators like you as we try to move to a cleaner, more secure energy future in America. Again, congratulations on this step forward. And please let me know how this addition and when it is in place producing cellulosic ethanol. Sincerely, Tom Harkin, U.S. Senator.